What's up, man? What's up, dude? What's up, man? Nice to meet you. I've seen you in photos on Instagram. I feel famous, dude. I've seen you on TikTok. Hell yeah! Oh, what's up, dude? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah. What's, what's up, up man? man? I'm Josh. Nick. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, man. I've done this for a really long time and it just never gets easier with a guy just like fucking pointing the lens right in your pie hole. I'm dude. sorry, man. <laughs> I'm, no, dude. You're beautiful. It makes you feel any better. Thanks. I'm glad you think so. I never remember that very We well. never addressed that. I, I know, but and yes. I think that is something that I should like get out, you know? Yeah, that, yeah, that was bad. And I think that's more? something that I thought this would be addressed. If you want to put that out, you know, out there, like, out of your own head, for yeah. sure. But Chuck makes everything better. Dogs do make things better. Being with her, like, kind of, like, I wasn't myself, and she, pushed me so far that I don't think she ever really knew the real me either, you know? Because she brought you so far away from who you were that she never met this. Yeah, yeah, you. exactly. Uh, except in, in my circumstance, I guess it actually is kind of similar because in, in your circumstance, you kind of like, you think about life before all of that fucked up shit happened to you, and then you think about life after, right? And and the one after doesn't feel like it used to, mm -hmm. correct? So now in this instance, in this story, kind of like take that and pull from that, because it's like, at this point, like, I'm not the same person anymore. So like, now every time I like think about you, or if I have to face you, or like, even the idea of you just like, makes me, you know, like, yeah. sick. Right, like, so like, try and, try and think about that think about your own story and, and how you can contribute to that With every word you say. but that wasn't that, that was great one. yeah that heat's great day two in the stew this is the stew how are you nick Existing. Not bad. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Got some Omega 3s. I'll make it through the day. Excited for the day? Absolutely. Doesn't look like it, but yeah. So now you want me to take my pants off? It's a, it's a, if you don't it's a real life MTV show. Come on, man. Yo, welcome to our crib, yo. I almost saw Mark's dick earlier. Well, yeah, you opened the bathroom <laughs> door, you. I didn't think that you were out of the shower. It sounded like the water was running still. It was. I was getting something. Uh, so yeah, we're on day two of recording. Super stoked about it. We have two new songs we're working on, and uh, hopefully, gonna finish at least one of them today. And uh, it's gonna be a good day. I'm very excited about it. We've been combining different genres that really haven't been confined too much before, and I think it really makes the music stand out more compared to a lot of music that's coming out lately. Because it's very like strong, just a strong, big, like, big sound. Yeah, think, it's you know? a very big, yeah. powerful sound to it, and I think that a lot of what we're doing hasn't been touched on by other artists, so I'm very excited about it. <laughs> oh, good. Oh. Fuck yeah. What kind of barbarian doesn't use syrup? Fuck syrup, dude. Plain is where it's at. Plain, dude, plain you. everything. Plain pretzels, no salt. Yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? Am I supposed to be out there? I don't know. What are you doing? Shaving what little hair I have. Uh, yeah, I think the tracks sound great. Actually, this morning, I was pleasantly surprised on my commute to go get them from their shot-ass hotel. Uh, the mix actually sounded pretty great. All right, song two, what are we doing? So, I have this concept that I've been wanting to write about. Essentially, I've had people in my life that have kind of talked badly about me on the internet and, you know, kind of made me out to be somebody that I'm not, and I would like to kind of touch on that. I have the concept of, like, you know, paint me, like painting somebody as the bad guy. And uh, I think that could be like a cool thing to write about. They just want everyone else to be on their side and not like it, you know? Yeah. Um, Most of the time that's easy because they're their friend and they'll just be like, oh, that's my friend. So I, I believe what they say. <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right, yeah. It's like, what? It's Stupid. like, if I heard something like crazy, like, yo, like, 
fucking Dom dude. He fucking he pulled out his pocket knife, dude. And fucking like carved out a piece of my knee. I'd be like, no, no, I didn't. No fucking way. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, no way. Dom, did you fucking do this shit? And you'd be like, no. But that's because I know you and I care to ask. Yeah. But yeah. most people, they don't. Most I people don't, don't know you. They don't care. Care. Even truckers ask. Yeah. Exactly. I think, I think like when you hear people saying shit about you, it's like it shouldn't be worth your time. But like right. that's damage on your character, and you want to go and defend that. Of course. It's a lot. Um, so yeah, dude, I, I totally feel where you're coming from. Um, 100%. Um, so as far as like musical vibe, um, is there anything that anybody like has to bring to the table at all? As far as like a lick, a riff, a chorus, Sam, what you got? anything that- Sam, Sam contributes. I spent a long time trying to overcomplicate things until I ended up working with bigger writers than me and they were like, why don't you just say what you want to say? <laughs> and I was like, because I think it's just like too boring. And they're like, yeah, but like, no one thinks like you do. No one thinks like that. Mm -hmm. Like anyone that listens to it isn't going to be like, man, you could have done that. You could have said that better. The only people that are going to say that are people that are musicians. And you're not writing music for those people. And if you are, you're never going to make a career. Maybe this has been said before, but like I think human beings tend to say things time and time again, yeah. right? Like if everything that came out of my mouth was new and profound, you know what I mean? Like I'd be the fucking Dalai Lama, yeah. but I'm not. <laughs> you know, I'm just a regular person, just like everyone else. And that's the point of music is to connect with everybody, so that everybody feels like they're a part of something, and that mm -hmm. they've experienced what you're experiencing, and they can connect with that. What's up, guys? It is day four in the studio today. And uh, we're excited to do song number three, so let's get to it. I think I would change the way that I structured it, like in terms of like tempo that, and how we do I it. With but I, I like the chord progression itself. So, uh, what if we did, what if we made the chorus, like, explaining what it's like to someone, you know? Like, you know how you, like, always try to make somebody understand, but, like, at face value, as soon as it's you hard, say something hard. about suicide, it's just kind of, like, stonewall. Like, people are like, well, that's, like, a lot. Right. But if you're like, no, like, I don't, like, I don't actually want to die. It's just, like, I'm so, like, stuck in this place, and I'm wondering how long I can stay there. Mm, you right, know? Yeah. yeah. Like, that's how it is for me. You know, no, I get like that. whenever like for me like I'll go through like windows and like stents where it's like I'm just I getting out of bed is like so difficult you know for me like unbelievably difficult and everything just seems like this mountainous task that's just like way too big um and so it's funny because like I don't want to die but when I go through those stents and they last like a few weeks long it's kind of just like how, how yeah how long can I like do this and like how like is this gonna always like happen like am I gonna go through these windows like forever right. like you know um, and it like just that thought alone is like overbearing where it's just like fuck like you know I can't count on myself to be functional all the time you know and like that's that's difficult because yeah. you can't guess when it's gonna happen right so it just like throws your life off balance so at least for me that's how suicidal ideation like in, in my life, you know, I don't know about anybody else, but. What's my purpose? 